Hey, what's going on, guys? Kovmaki Kings here. I just forgot. I just forgot to add one last little improvement to our search that uh, I've taken from Bruce Morland's pages, and this this topic is is called Aspiration Windows. So the idea behind this is very simple. So within the iterative dependent search, uh, we're doing the following way. So, like uh, initially, we assume that we have the preamble large positive and negative values for alpha and beta so we have this plus and minus infinity let me just show you this search position so right over in here and just like we've been uh, reducing the bandwidth of this uh, of the scores or how Bruce Morland calls this kind of uh, adjusting the aspiration window this uh, based basing, basing on the assumption that value of the search in the next iteration is not likely to be much different from the value of the search in the current iter in the current uh, in the iteration just completed, we can do the following way. So we can be altering the values of alpha and beta, but uh, we 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 can kind of narrow in the scope we're looking within uh, uh, and this increment is equal to kind of 50 points here so oh, the idea is this this basically allows us to speed up the speed of the search that's that's kind of it and again if this kind of uh, if this would be a bad idea uh, in that case obviously we just uh, drop this approach and uh, you just restore and just restore the alpha and beta values to back to minus infinity and infinity and search it a normal way so just another improvement to slice uh, some nodes from the overall search so without further ado let's actually go and implement this stuff but before uh, oh, sorry probably oh it's just hold on a sec I got a, the right file, but uh, the wrong directory. So let me just open this again. Hold on, guys. Just or is this aspiration windows? Okay, so this is it. Yeah. So now I just want to compile and run the code quickly. So by saying make debug, and if it compiles, I want to run the BBC binary executable. To okay, let's let's drop the debugging mode. Uh, let's back. Let's drop back to the debugging mode and see the number of nodes eventually being traversed at the depth of seven. Okay, so this is the number of nodes, and now we need to go to our search position function and start adding this value. So. Uh, value window so I'm not going to be changing this value so I just hard coded here within the iterative dependent search uh, yeah within the iterative dependent and actually so let me see so this is the iter this is the iterative dependent itself okay timed out is break Hold on a sec, I'm just... Okay, so I'll probably... Yeah, I'll probably grab this here. Uh, and... Instead of this line... Well, uh, this line would actually be available. I just want to... I just want to... Command this code out for a while, so we're not uh, taking care of timeouts for a while. So we don't need this code. And okay, okay. So alpha, beta, and depth. So this is the line, and we got the score. Okay, so I can drop this as well. Now, instead of the val, I would like to use the score. 
uh, minus infinity is minus 50,000 and plus infinity is plus 50,000. Okay. And well, then window I would be used, I would, I would be hard coding this 50. So, paste set up the window on the next iteration. So the idea is very simple. Every next iteration we're narrowing the scope of our alphabet and hopefully this would get this uh, would result traversing less nodes. That's it. Okay. Uh, so let's let me take this commentary and put it up here. And even just better like this. So okay. So like it usually happens within the last few videos when I'm doing like things like this. My search is getting slow as slow as hell, but hope but I hope this time it's not gonna be like that. So I also need to define the alpha and the beta values. Okay. Copy. So just before the iterative dipping in uh, here, I want to Define initial alpha beta bounds, and this would be minus fifty thousands. This would be plus fifty thousands. And one last thing, uh, I want to. Okay, guys, just hold on a second. I need to release my cat. Sorry for that. Okay, so and we're using this uh, alpha and beta within so here not the constants but variables alpha and beta okay so if I did everything correctly it now should get less nodes okay well Not the bell, but score. Excuse me, beta undeclared. What do you mean, beta undeclared? I've just. Oh, I just need to say int and like this. Okay, let's see if there. There is gonna be a difference of at least seven seven zero seven one nine. Oh, okay, so this this is already quite pretty satisfying. So this was the initial number of nodes. So let's put it somewhere. This is the initial number of nodes, and here is the save notes the number of nodes after applying this aspiration window so yeah it's less which is which is really really that great yeah guys so this is this is it and now now this is the last technique that we're supposed to be using the, the very last optimization well at least for the first version as I as I have already been mentioning so now, now it's really gonna be slightly better. Okay, uh, I just need to check that out if everything is done correctly. Well, it seems like. Okay guys, so this is it from my side. Uh, yeah, this is it from my side. So nothing much to say for now and I just need to prepare material for the further vi for, for the further videos. Well, actually, I get that prepared. to just uh, just need to work that out a little bit, and we'll probably go for implementing the timing.
just just like uh, I promised in the previous video. So that's that's kind of it. Okay, guys. So hope to see you in the next videos in this series. Until the next time, and take care.